was stopping out at what's the faces. That is, I was, but we had a little bit of a falling out. She accused me of switching cards at the bingo, as if I would ever cheat at the bingo. It's sacrilege. So. So what? So, who does this little contraption belong to? Well, Silver's, obviously. Don't look like his sort of thing. He's more of a boxer man. How would you know what sort of undies my husband wears? It's hard to miss when he parades round here, half naked all the time. Nana, do you have to? Well, I'm only human. And anyway, don't change the subject. I could swear I heard voices in here last night. Fine. You got me. I was, uh, first time in Silver. Showing him what he was missing out on. <laughs> All right. The truth is, things have been a bit vanilla between us both lately, and I thought a leopard print thong would spice things up a bit. Well, if you need any tips on how to rev his engine, you know where I am. No, now that you know what, I, I don't. And I don't know what I'm thinking, because these are clearly not Silver's cup of tea, are they? <laughs> Off. They look like they haven't seen a bar of salt this year. How was your trip? Did you go on the Big Dipper? I remember going on that when I were a lass. My heart would go in ten to the dozen. No. He says that I'm not tall enough. Apparently, you have to be 117 centimetres to go on. But that's just under four foot. You'd have been grand. I know. Why don't you go upstairs and unpack, eh? Don't tell me a strapping lad like you is still scared of the roller coaster. Of course not. It's just making sure he wasn't scared. Mm. Have you seen Mercy? She just nipped out. I asked her to fetch me some more food for the luau later. So cheese and pineapple and sticks it is then. That reminds me. A word of advice. A way to a man's heart might be his stomach. But you need to have a little more imagination when it comes to keeping a woman satisfied. Hmm? Okay. Oi! I'll have another pina colada, please, amigo. And not the cheap one, I'll have the good stuff. You know that tiki bars aren't actually Mexican, don't you? Me. <laughs> don't tell Mercy, though, because it's more than my life's worth. I'm sure you can be enough here, because it is. Oh. How do you mean it over so soon? Seems that way. She just went off at me at nothing. I can't work her out. It seems like she's sick of me already. Yeah, well, marriage isn't for everyone. But, I mean, you two, though, I mean, you're obviously meant to be together, you know, destined for each other or whatever. So just ask her what her beef is and fix it. Thanks, Grace. You're a good listener, you know. I just wish it was this easy talking to Mercy. Yeah, well, you're easy to, to talk to, I mean. <laughs> oh, you bring life out of me there. What are you doing? I've got to get everything spick and span for tomorrow. Why? What's so special about tomorrow? It's Goldings party, isn't it? And I can't relax and enjoy myself till everything's ship shaped. I think you got a screw loose cleaning this weather, but whatever floats your boat. <laughs> what do you think? I thought I got rid of that. Yeah, and I thought they were too good to throw away. <laughs> I know you embarrassed to give it to me, but I want you to know I'm cool with this. And anything else you want to try? Yeah. Well, better watch what you say, because I'll hold you to that. I thought you'd be in a mood after me kicking off before. Well, I was, but Grace told me to find out what's bothering you and try and fix it. <laughs> she did what? She just made me see that you've got to work at marriage. So I want to show you that I'm 100% invested in us. I'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. Do you want to make me really happy right now? If you was to help me out downstairs in the bar, mm. because it is absolutely rammed down there, baby. But this, this we will, we will pick up on this later. You need to get your sister on a leash. Silver can never know about this affair. 